morning y'all uh, this is day three of the adventure the European ad road adventure and um, yeah we're just on our way to Strasbourg now we've just left our overnight air and um, it's 10 to 9 in the morning we've just left our air we've got three hours to drive to Strasbourg and then we're going to go have a little visit around there and hopefully get to a little town called Rockwe which is real oldie wildy I'm um, probably going to stop off on the way and have a drink and a break and maybe some dinner because it is quite a long drive these roads are just I mean they're brilliant don't get me wrong but they're so straight and so boring besides the billion roundabouts they have but <laughs> it's a little it's, it's a little fact for you France officially has the most roundabouts in the world does it and I can see why because they're every every um like 5k for example but it is efficient because there's that many road systems it's brilliant you just get from A to B it's brought on we haven't picked any of the tall roads just because we want to go the more scenic routes so it's not cost us a penny on the roads either so far <laughs> would you like a coffee or a cappuccino um cappuccino please i'll just go into my larder coffee cappuccinos First time for everything, Leah's making my dinner. Well, she ain't making my dinner. She's buttering my bread because I've got meat, so she's not gonna have to touch the meat. I don't mind touching it, honestly. <laughs> That's how I'm sorry. <laughs> just because I'm a veggie, I'll still sing it, I just won't eat it. Yeah, it's good, it's nice, thank you. We've just stopped at a little air now, haven't we? Um, just, just on the way to Strasbourg. Got about an hour, hour and 20 minutes left to go. So we just thought we'd stop and have a coffee and a bit of dinner. Mm. It's only about half past 10 in the morning, but we thought we'll have, we had no breakfast, so we'll crack on. And then if we do this now, we don't have to stop for dinner later. And we can maybe make a bit more headway to Rockwear and places like that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Funny story about the fridge. We're still trying to work out on the temperature settings. So I thought three degrees would be a nice setting for the fridge to keep things cool. But what we found is that when it cools, it goes a degree or two below what it should be. So like three degrees is essentially probably freezing sometimes. So we've just come to make a sandwich. And as I found out, my bon pari ham is frozen solid. <laughs> so I am unable to eat any ham whatsoever. Salami and cheese it is. So salami and cheese. So whether I can eat frozen ham, I don't know. So I could end up with a serious case of the bowel movements. Who knows? <laughs> Cook it with tea tonight. It'll be fine. I'll be good. I've got a stomach made of iron in there. Is it working? Yeah. First time using a foreign petrol station. Just arrived now at a park and ride on the outskirts of Strasbourg, a little place called Elsan, I think, something like that, Elsan. Um, six euros ten for the day, and that also covers your journey to and from on the tram to the centre of Strasbourg. So that's actually been really helpful. We're just heading towards the tram now, and then we're going to go into the city centre.
just in the centre of Strasbourg now. We've just found the main cathedral, as you can see behind me. It doesn't fit in because it's so big, but it's beautiful. It's a bank holiday weekend as well here and in France, in England and in France. But to be honest, it's, it's not busy at all. If this was England, it'd be absolutely packed, although all the shops are closed because it's a Sunday as well, which they kind of honour more than we do in Britain. But it's a lovely city, to be honest. If it was in France, I'd definitely recommend Strasbourg. I mean, I've enjoyed my holiday so far, but this is the, probably the better place I've seen so far. It's just nice, oldie weldy, but with it being so close to the German border, it's got very much a German feel. A lot. Has it got a thing yeah. to choose English? That's my name, man. What's it there? Oh, there. It's all in French, even though it says English on there. And ticket in English. <laughs> 420. This is stunning now, isn't it? Beautiful. It's turned really nice. You can see mountains ahead. There's like hills and stuff all around us. Driving through valleys. It's spot on is what it is. Spot on. Look at all these vineyards. There's tons. It's annoying though that we can see them in the fields but we can't find anywhere to knock and buy them. Literally every shop we've passed is shop. I tell you, I'm going to go around sucking grapes soon. <laughs> I'm going to get some wine by Uko Barcrook. Is this just us or is this a regular thing what like? It's our government squeezing every bit of life out of us, making us work weekends and bank holidays. This is our first like proper adventure into Europe. Is this a, like a common thing in Europe lad, that um, all the shops are shut on a Sunday? Because I know when we went to, went, I went to Bratislava on a stag a few years ago, I went into Vienna on a Sunday and absolutely nothing was open and it seems to be the same here. We've been a bank holiday Monday tomorrow in France. And is it Switzerland as well? Yeah. Uh, and Switzerland as well, apparently. Um, so we're not going to be able to get anything, I don't think, tomorrow either. So luckily we did stock up. in place beautiful oldie weldy it's like being in Germany but in France but by hell it was busy <laughs> but it is bank holiday it is bank holiday Sunday or bank holiday Monday for tomorrow for the French so Take I think a lot of people have got to shut up. Again, D4. I think a lot of people have gone there this weekend but yeah it was lovely we was gonna stay for the night but I think we've decided to sort of push on and make ourselves a bit closer to Switzerland just been driving to our overnight location tonight just outside of a place called Colmar and we've come across this like war graves uh, I've just had a little read of the information there's 2,278 French people in here and then there's a German one there as well with I don't know if it says as many numbers but there's the German soldiers there who died as well but it's just unbelievable it's like everywhere you look there's just graves everywhere and it's a lot of these have got two people in as well a lot of them are unknown things like that and it's just it's hard to see, you can just imagine this many people, they're essentially dead. Maybe not here, but they've been moved in the wall and put here and stuff, but yeah, it's shocking. So yeah, it's just a reality, isn't it? But yeah, let's hope it never happens again.
Not a bad car park sleeping, no, is it? Yeah, just had old pizza now and a couple of pants, haven't we? So, yeah. head down before we head to Switzerland tomorrow morning. It's due <laughs> to pee down all day tomorrow, so we might have a bit of a lazy get ready or maybe get up and just head into that region. <laughs> Now we're in we're actually in Basel. We want to come here because it was like a stopping point. We don't even know if there's anything here to see. I'm assuming there is. I've just picked some parking so we can have an exploration, but I don't know. We might be out of here pretty quick. <laughs> panicking. Tram. Just seeing like fully clad riot police. <laughs> and police. Yeah. Massive guns all with the masks on and the helmets. Currently and driving alongside the tram lines. On the tram lines. On the tram lines. So yeah. Um, I don't like this. My, is, I my don't like experience this. of the city has been quite a, not a good one so far. No. We just got used to the French way of driving. Now, there's all different lights and colours and trams and pedestrians and shit. What the hell's going on, doing? Nah. That was nice. Thank God we're out of Basel. It was absolutely crazy. There was trams all over, there was pedestrians all over. It was seemed like anything goes really. It was a bit of a horrible. Yeah, horrible experience that one. So these roads were a lot better. Now we're getting a bit more into the countryside. Oh, Hopefully it'll like us a bit that. more, but Basel was very, very much. I'm just panning off your face now because that's beautiful. Look at that. What my face is it? <laughs> not quite, not as beautiful as that. Thank you. It's bloody delightful. Look at the clouds and stuff and look in the valley in there. It's fantastic. I'm having a right good time. I was going to say, you showing enthusiasm, it must be good. Uh, oh, it is. It's amazing. They say once you get around there and you see this valley, it's, oh, it's delightful. It's so that is amazing. Is that just me? <laughs> Big ass. Now we've been driving pretty much five hours as I said today. It's pretty much solid, we've had a couple of stop offs. We just wanted to get to a campsite hopefully near um the San. I've got one of your marks, it's in the sat now ready to go. But we've just actually got our first views of the Alps as well. In that direction behind us is a, a lake of some description. I don't know what name it is. I began with a D, didn't it? Um... Lake 
something or other, we'll put the name in. <laughs> but yeah, just over sort of near the shoulder there where the van's parked is the like, mountain range of the Alps, which hopefully will be up somewhere in that vicinity tomorrow. campsite cat seems we've got some accommodation park for night said that there was a lovely woman called julie which is my mum's name so straight away we had to come to this one because all the others have failed and we're at camping della i don't even know if that's how you do it i butcher things but this is not insignificant views we can get a shower we've been in the van since friday traveling so that'll be nice Thinking the rain might be coming in. It's nice, isn't it? It's a lovely sight, yeah. I'm just doing my housekeeping by hanging my towel out. Of. 